Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to crack a wireless encrypted network with WPA encryption. We will be using the dictionary attack method with a file that I retrieved off the internet. If you've watched my videos before then you'll be very familiar with the tools so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up my console program and put my card into monitor mode with Airmon. Alright, my card has been successfully put into modern mode as Mon0. So what we're going to do is open up AeroDump and use Mon0 as our interface to see what networks are around us. Alright, as you can see, my home network here that I'm using for this demonstration has showed up right here, home.net. We'll be using that for further references. Alright, let's fire up AeroDump once more with the following commands. I'm going to add the channel and I'm going to set it to 6 because it will go faster and it will not be channel hopping around and you can perform this attack faster. I'm going to set my write file name to home.net WPA. I'm going to add output format and then IVS and set the interface to mon0. Alright, we have this running. We will open up this console here and use air replay. What we're going to do is type in dash zero because we're doing a deauthentication attack and one for station mode. I'm going to set my ESSID with dash E to home.net and yours will be different so you need to use whatever ESSID that you will be using. I'm going to set my network to mon zero. As you can see here, we have the WPA handshake and so I'm going to go ahead and stop my arrow dump. I'm actually just going to go ahead and close out the other box because I don't need it anymore. Alright, so now we're going to move on to cracking. So we're going to open up air crack and show you the options. Now we're going to be using the, just this one command right here. So what we're going to do is air crack dash w and I have my dictionary file named as list.lst on the desktop. If you're using Backtrack 4, then this will work just fine. If you're using any other distribution, it may work differently. You'll have to check. All right. Then I'm also going to reference the file that I used earlier, which is home.net WPA, and then I'm going to tab it out so that it brings me to my only IVS file. I'm going to press Enter. This will take some time to get to your password, assuming that the password is in there. If not, you may have to use a different or a much larger dictionary file. In some cases, even a dictionary file will not work. In this case, you'll probably have to move on to a brute force method, but that will come at a later time. All right, so I'm going to step away for a few minutes and let this continue running. All right, my password has been found, so I'd be able to access this network now. You can go to my website for a full write-up and detailed explanation of every command that was used and how every command works. Thank you very much.